onto the roundabout. What's it gonna do? And, oh, oh, hello, hello. That was, oh, look at that. And now it aborted, what's that about? Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Before we get started, look at this. Just look at how impressive this map is looking with the arrows on the line, all the poles, the disabled spaces. It's actually looking really, really good. Now this is software version 2020.28.6. And I'm being honest, not much has really changed in quite a while. I think in this software update, it was literally just some more language support. So nothing really new to shout about. But today I thought we would go around Chippenham and show you what autopilot is currently like driving around a town here in the UK. Now I have driven autopilot a lot around Chippenham before so I know kind of how it does and where it will and where it won't work and it's pretty hit and miss mainly because the roads are like this where the lines are kind of all over the place and the car doesn't always make great sense of it all. But you can see here actually it's doing fairly well all things considered and it's going to pick the left lane here. Yeah it's picking the left lane. Is it going to go around this van for us? Yes, it is going around the van, as you can see, and it's gonna pull up behind this guy, but it breaks actually on the yellow markers on the floor, which obviously isn't working. Uh, come on, buddy, let's go, let's go. So it's green light for us, and sadly here, as you can see, it doesn't actually show the green light for us, which is kind of annoying. I wish it did show the green light. It's still only showing one cluster of lights. So if you have three lights and then like a left arrow, for example, it's not showing that left arrow. It picked up the cyclist actually from really far on, which is really nice to see put this back on here and let's see will it pick up that they are arrows no in the lights there you can clearly see it's not showing that the fact that they were arrows it was just showing a green light uh coming to a little bit of a slowdown behind these cars here getting quite close to the right but i think here it might go into the center of the lane yeah it's going more central into the lane uh because it's quite a wide road and now it is tucking to this right-hand side, which is correct, because we do actually want to go on to this right-hand side lane. So I just want to apologize that I haven't been uploading as much as I, as I really should be. Actually, this should be a really good example of the lights. Hopefully this will show, yeah, you see it only shows some green lights. Which way are we going? Okay, we're going this way now. And I'm gonna bring it down to 15, still green lights. This is a really tight bend and nope, as you can see there, the car was definitely not doing that. And uh, it was actually in fact looking like it was just going straight forward, which was kind of bizarre. So we do have some really tight corners here in Chippenham and that's kind of what I wanted to test this on and just see how it was kind of rocking and rolling in a town at the moment. But yeah, sorry I haven't been able to upload loads recently. I just want to do a huge shout out to all the Patreons. There were 75 of you in the end who became Patreons, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support. If you guys want to become a Patreon, we're not doing any more giveaways on there just yet. I will be in the future, but for now it is just going to be a big thank you to everyone. Let's see if we can get 100 Patreons by the end of this week. This should have bought here in my opinion. Uh, oh no, it's actually crossed the lane correctly. Wow, that was actually pretty impressive. That actually crossed all the, those lanes correctly, even though the lines were pretty hard to see. So I'm gonna go right here instead, because otherwise that would take us out of Chippenham. And I know across here, for example, it won't be able to do the lines. That guy just went straight through that red light, and I don't even think he saw. I, d I swear that truck did not see that red light at all, but he just went straight through it. Sorry I haven't been uploading quite as much. Loads of things have been going on. Health issues, we're moving house, uh, car issues. I won't go over that just yet. I'll go over that in a, f a future video. But yeah, loads of different things have been going on, but the uploads are coming back. Uh, and that's a huge thank you to all my patrons who are making this possible for me to do as a job. So if you wanna go and join, all you need to do is head over to patreon.com forward slash Tesla driver. And all of the stuff should be up there for you to come and support us. Anything you can help with is a absolute god's end in this current climate so thank you all okay anyway going up here now this bit i know it can do pretty well because i've done it several times and it does have some kind of big swooping corners and some almost blind hills so let's see how it does it today it is really sunny i actually cleaned my window believe it or not earlier today and the drive down here is has made this really really hard to see out of oh interesting so the car didn't like that actually when i did my wipers on it asked me to hold the steering wheel even though i've been holding the steering wheel the whole time so this Royal Mail van going slightly off to the other lane. The car didn't have a problem with it. You could see that it did see it and it showed that it was working its way around it, which is really good. So if you're wondering, yes, like by daily, so daily uploads weren't possible on the Tesla channel, but every other day I'm gonna be trying to post again from now. And hopefully if this hot weather goes away, it'll be a lot easier because at the moment it is sweltering hot. But you can see how well it does it down here. I'm not sure what it picked up as cones there. I'm not sure if it thought the learner driver had cones on its roof or something, but it picked up some cones. And 
again seeing these lights picks up the lights nice early and that's really good here coming up to our first roundabout as well if there's no one on it see that breaks quite hard there that did break quite hard i would have rather that been a little bit slower and what's it going to think of this roundabout there's no one coming onto it i'm going to let the car see if it wants to just follow look at that great job and then it aborts sadly like i said as soon as you go onto any roundabout at the moment it just seems to abort even though in that circumstance it actually did really well and it did it correctly uh did it pick up the cycle lane it didn't pick up the cycle lane and again braking relatively hard the, the braking seems harder than it has been before and we're leaving quite a gap here. So if we look at the settings, I've actually got it set to uh, three normally. So if I pull that to one, uh, we'll see in the next one how, how well it does. I actually had it on hold there as well. I've never seen it go on hold for a long, long time. So I'm not sure why it held me there, but this is one distance. So as you can see, it's a lot closer and the car is accelerating a lot quicker to stay right behind this Golf, which you could argue is more realistic of most drivers, but to be totally honest, I would rather sit back uh, level three around town is uh, is a good one for me again here coming up to a roundabout the lanes do split uh, so i'm going to take control myself and to be honest i was waiting for a huge update uh before like posting the next big video the next big thing uh there was a lot of rumors that a huge update should be coming soon within this month at some point elon's teased it for well years now uh, so we're expecting something big soon and whenever that huge thing does come we will continue the autopilot city uh tour at the moment i'm not going to continue it just because there's not really anything else for me to show you until we get a good software update the same issues always arise it's still not great it's still kind of unusable in cities uh, so we'll wait for the next big update before we make another video on all of that now here we're going around the outside of chippenham and is it picking yeah it's picked a, it's picked a lane onto the roundabout what's it gonna do and oh oh hello hello that was oh look at that and now it aborted what's that about it did that roundabout really well and i'm i'm gonna tell you the truth here i've never felt it cornered that hard before and that was actually really good i was actually really impressed with that and you can hopefully tell by my voice i was very surprised about it too so let's take a right turn and go onto the dual carriageway here and see if there's been any updates to the car on these type of roads so previously on this road here the car won't overtake for you it won't notice basically that there are two lanes uh, and i'm wondering what it'll do now again we're coming up to another roundabout so we know that it's not going to be able to do this and it will abort so we'll just wait until this bit's done again these kind of roundabouts should be pretty good for the car because they're nice and big and fairly easy and autopilot there we go back on here it might swing across to fill up that space no that was actually really well done previously that has swung quite hard whereas that was pretty good all the pylons being picked up some of them as cones and then it's flicking them back to pylons uh, or little poles which is good and also if you haven't seen uh green the only tweeted out that the tesla uh visualization is going to be getting tesla specific cars which is really cool but i think there's a little bit too much hype being brought over it nothing is going to change except you're going to see a model 3 a model s a model x a y well we weren't in the uk but a model y and pretend i haven't seen a roadster actually i haven't seen a roadster in the visualization maybe they're not even putting the roadster in who knows um but yeah that's it, it's cool and when it comes out it's going to be cool it'll make for a good video but really it's just kind of a little bit of food while we wait for our main di for our main uh, meal which should be full self-drive this year at some point is at least that's what elon has said okay so we've got some construction here which is pretty cool Let's see how the car deals with it and what it will do. I have noticed in this update that the improvement has been pretty pretty substantial on traffic cones and kind of construction zones, uh, but we are coming up to a roundabout. So unless we're very lucky, I don't think it's gonna be able to do this roundabout unless the construction actually guides us around it. But we'll see, there's actually, there's loads of cones on the roundabout. So this might, this might work, who knows? Uh, okay, bringing it down here to 40 oh again as well the speeds there's nothing updated with the speed limits it's not updating live or actively or anything and i haven't seen any update on old roads as of yet so still hopefully something of that coming soon you can see it here placing the cones which is so cool to see and so i might have to use the accelerator here just to get the car going but hopefully if we've timed this well yeah we have actually 
we should be good here. Let's see what the car does on this roundabout. There's no one coming. There's a, oh, there you go. Again, straight onto a roundabout. I think to be fair, it, it, saw, it saw the lorry uh, and it just aborted. That's a lorry, by the way. I'm not talking about my friend, Larry. I don't know why everyone in the comment section says, who are you, why are you talking about Larry? Who is this Larry? I'm not saying Larry, I'm talking about the lorry. Sounds like Larry. Okay, back onto autopilot. Again, coming up to another roundabout here, but we have we have got the same scenario. So we have got traffic cones all the way up to it. And ho I'm hoping this time it's gonna work fully. No one's coming this way on the roundabout. I'm gonna accelerate the car over the lines. It's doing it. Yes, come on car, come on car, you've got this. You've got this, you've got this. And then we're gonna take the left. No, oh, it was going too early to the cones. It was, tr I think it was almost trying to fit in between a gap between the cones there. Uh, but again, our autopilot limitations have come into play, which is such a shame. And yeah, we're able to go onto the roundabout again. And what's the car gonna do here? It is going around the roundabout nicely. Ah, oh, and then again, right at the end of boarding, which is a shame, uh, but it did actually go around the back roundabout by itself, which was nice to see for the first little bit. So I don't doubt that it will be able to do this pretty soon, but just at the moment, it's uh, it's not quite able to do it all. Right, let's go then onto a proper dual carriageway here, and I will show you what I mean about the car not working properly on these types of roads. So. This car really should be able to go to that right-hand lane if I indicate, but as you'll see, if I do the indication, it just won't go over to the lane. There's clearly a barrier down the middle. I'm amazed that it has problems with this bit of road, uh, but it always seems to have issues with it, and I'm not 100% sure why. Let's go down here. I've never been down here before, and uh, this might be quite fun to test it on. Oh, is it really a 60 down here? Wow, all right, I'm gonna bring that all the way down to like 30. 35. Oh, again, look at this, very American, pulling us all the way over to the right-hand side of the road there. I had to pull it off because I wasn't sure what was what was past this uh, van here. Oh, we've got a learner coming out. Is the car going to stop for him? Yeah, the car's coming slowly behind him here. And, whoa, where are we going? There you are, stick on the left side of the road. Oh, it thought about it, didn't it? It really thought about going, and then it's coming to an abort there for some reason. Uh, but it really thought about going to the right-hand side of the road there and overtaking that car, which would have been really strange. Okay, so we're gonna go right and back onto this dual carriageway. So there, it thinks that's a stop sign, but that's a 50 and then a no entry sign. And you see that light ahead of us there, it can't actually see the green light on it saying that it's okay for us to go. So in that kind of scenario, obviously that's where the traffic light has actually been bent itself and that's what's not making it work. But how are they gonna fix that? How are they gonna make it so that the car at that, at that point goes, oh no, actually I can go. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll obviously find out in the near future. Whee. So again, this is, a, this is a great demonstration. So at this point, I actually do wanna go into that left lane. And it, it just won't do it. It just won't do it. It did this on my Model X in 2018 on Hardware 2, but now it just won't do it, which is such a shame. And again, not picking people up or showing it. So you see here again, the car slowing itself down to 26 miles an hour, which is really good, really nice, exactly what I would want the car to do. And actually at this area of road, I would like it to stick to 25 miles an hour uh, because it does get pretty tight and you can see that there are cars on the road either side getting quite close to these cars on the left. I'm pulling it off. That was getting way, way too close to those cars on the left for me. And okay, this car decided to pull out last second. It was thinking about it, but the car actually reacted to that nicely because we were already on traffic aware cruise control. And then when I was able to put it on autopilot, it had no problem with it at all. It's not 100% sure if this car in front is a uh, four by four or a normal hatchback. It fl See, it's flicking between them a few times. Um, to be honest, it, it's neither. It's 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 following that car, and now it's aborting. But it did follow the car slightly, so that's interesting to see. And put autopilot back on here. Bring it down. Cutting across the lane there because it knew it couldn't go around that tighter corner. Oh, and there it was trying to cut us across. And in my opinion, it would have completely curbed the side of the car there if I'd have let autopilot do its thing. I'll just keep on autopiloting down here and coming to a stop. Actually, you know what I'll do is I'll go in here and let's try and see if we can find a parking space for it. Right, so we're gonna park uh, on the right here in between these two cars. That should be a perfect spot for the Model 3. So let's stop and hopefully there it is. 
and let's go into that parking space. Now, I've actually used this a lot recently uh, since I did my last video on it. I actually use it quite a lot and I do enjoy it. I do like it. It gets the parking perfect every single time. It allows you just to kind of get yourself ready to get out the car and stuff. Obviously, you still need to pay full attention and everything, but it's really nice to have. Uh, and it's got a little bit quicker rather than doing this in three or four turns now. As you can see, it's taking two turns to do it and roughly 30 to 45 seconds, which is way slower than, than me still. As a, as a normal human but you know it's it's doing the job and as long as it does it every time without errors or without crashing or anything like that then I'm very happy for it to continue doing it and there we go we have parked up so let's get my phone out real quick and do ourselves a little test of smart summon here we go we're gonna start self-driving now will the car do it no interesting Auto park aborted, summon is stopping. Not sure why, no reasons for it that I can see. Let's try that again. There is no one around us. Here we go. And now the car's doing it. It's pulling us out nicely. Let's see how it, how it does this. Is it gonna need to, is it actually, no, it's not. Look at that, it's actually done. Uh, it's actually done it really well. I'm just letting this lady go here in front of me. Um, and then if we wanted to say park, I want to actually park in her space. Let's see if the car will go up and actually park in her space. Look at that. Oh, nearly like it stopped there because that was our, our max distance, which is the stupid thing here in the UK. Uh, but you can see there that it actually was parking into the space correctly. Uh, but it just wasn't able to complete it because it ran out of time. What I wanted to do this time is come out and actually go to the exit of the car park for me. And we're going to see if it will go onto the road at all or at least go to it. All right, here we go. No one around us. It's nice and safe. Hopefully we turn left. But no, it's not available on public roads. Ah, so because I'm navigating it onto a public road, it won't do it. So instead, let's say we would just want to go park uh, over there, which is there. Uh, will it do it? Are you gonna park us over there? Here we go, yes. Oh, no, it stopped. Smart Summon is not available on public. We're clearly not on a public road. We're in a car park. We're technically actually the same distance from the road that we were before, uh, but this time we're gonna try and go backwards. So we, the car needs to re reverse out and then go down by the side. I, whether it's gonna do it this time, I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. This time it is doing it. So this time we weren't too close to the road. And you can see it's reversing itself out nicely. And yeah, and then this time it actually is going forwards. So I'm just I'm just rubber necking, making sure there's no one around. And it is going forward and get ready. It's gonna slam on for us any second. Bang, there we go. So that worked. Not sure why the first time it didn't work. Like I've said before about smart summon in the UK. Oh look, that looks so cool. I think someone's on it, but it just shows a bike. Like I've said before, smart summon in the UK, absolutely useless. Hopefully it'll be fixed soon. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Tesla driver video, everyone. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell. And if you want to help support us even more, consider becoming a patron. I'm going to be uploading way more videos again. Uh, again, sorry about the little delay in posting, but it, it will get back better soon. And as I come out, look at that, perfect timing. There is Holly and Raven waiting to be picked up.